so we meet again guys and today what you are going to do is i'm going to teach you guys on how to play wii u games on your pc or laptop so what you are going to do is you have to get the wii u emulator that is also known as the same emulator so you have to get the latest version of the emulator so after you've downloaded the emulator just follow what i'm about to do so we are going to extract we are going to extract the zip file because the emulator comes as in the form of zip file so we are going to extract it and to extract it we can either use 7-zip or winra but for today's video i'm going to use winra to extract the zip file so now let's extract the zip file after you are done extra extracting the file let's open the file as you can see in the folder we have um we have a program called semo.ts ex this file this file is the emulator so we have to open the file when you open the file for the first time when you open the file for the first time you will see a window like this well this simply means you need to do some small setup over here so when you look at this uh, this place it says game path yeah it says game path and browse well the game path simply means um the folder that contains your wii u roms or wii u games so with the game path with the game path what we are going to do is you you will click on this thing over here this thing that is called browse you will press or click on this thing over here now when we get to this place we have to locate the folder that contains our wii u games so let's locate the folder at this stage my wii u games are in this folder called the rom so let's locate this folder and then select this this button over here select folder yeah so after selecting the folder that contains your games just press or select on select folder now when you come to this place is um it is called graphics pack well it says graphics pack improve games by offering the possibility to change resolutions tweaks fps or add other visual or gameplay modifications now to do that we have to download the latest graphics pack so to do that we have to make sure your computer is connected to an internet so when you look at down here my i have internet access as you can see it says internet access so make sure your computer has internet access and after that come back over here and click or press on download community graphics pack so with this tutorial let's press on download community graphics pack let's wait for it to finish downloading okay so um it is downloading okay so we are done downloading the graphics pack so um this pop-up say do you want to view the downloaded 
graphics pack just press on no now before we proceed when you look at uh, this section it says custom mlc01 path well forget about this this thing it's 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 an optional so you forget forget about this option over here and then press on next so we press on next and then it says inputs the input simply means your controller set settings so um if you have a controller connected to your pc we will configure it or we will set it up by clicking on this thing called input configure input now over here it says controller one controller two controller three up to controller eight so if you have two controllers then you need to configure controller one and controller two but if you have or if you only have one controller just configure controller one so come to this place make sure your controller is connected to your pc then you click or press on this place then you choose between these two will you gamepad or will you pro controller so with this i'll be choosing will you gamepad you see after choosing that it has given me another option like the a buttons and blah 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 but don't worry if you are using an xbox one xbox wait let me start with the lowest if you are using xbox 360 xbox one xbox one x ps4 ps5 blah 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 controller just simply press on this 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 thing the controller press press on this place called the controller another small window will pop up at this place you see something like api and controller just beside the api session just press on this and select direct input select direct input so after selecting direct input you can come down here then you see the controller that is connected to your pc over here so as i'm doing the tutorial i have my xbox 360 afterglow controller connected to my pc that is why we are seeing the controller connected over here so here you select ports ever controller is connected to your pc you just select that controller so this i'll be selecting my xbox 360 controller over here okay then you you press on add you see now it has been added so the next step is you have to configure the input buttons so let's configure that the a, a the a button means um i'm using as what three is two. so the a button means the b so you just follow let's let's set sets the inputs up We are done so just leave it like that and press on cancel that's all now let's close this let's press on close we are done selecting the um, input the controller input so let's let's press on close this thing i mean this thing over here press on this thing this thing over here okay so um as you can see we have our game over here 
because we um, we configured or we selected the folder that contains our games that's why we are seeing our games over here and as at now i only have one game i i only have wii u one game if i if i have three four five i'll see all of them over here so now um the next step is let's do some small tweaks over here now to uh, in semu or in a wii u emulator to change a resolution you have to do it in the graphics pack and remember we downloaded a graphics pack so to um to change a resolution for a game you have to um you make sure the game is highlighted and then you press on the options over here and then you select on graphics pack you see so um if you don't if you don't have that then you need to download graphics pack again but don't worry we've already have the latest graphics pack downloaded so when you see this um this simply means the games that we are having so the game that we are having it this is the graphics pack for the game so when you press on it you see things like modes workarounds the graphics blah 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 so when you press on mode you can tweak it a little bit over here but i'm not going to do that so um let's let's select work around it says title screen crash wait i won't fix this right now i won't show this i won't show you this right now but um let's let's select the graphics the graphics over here as you can see after selecting the graphics we have an option to choose the resolution that you want for the game and so on i have a low spec pc so i'll be choosing um, 720p shadow quality we can tweak it to high or medium blur quality you can tweak it according to the um the performance of your pc so it sticks so i'll leave it like this and i will open a game for you to see so now let's let's open the game okay so um the game has been opened but let's try and play as you can see it's it's force closed the game force closed but don't worry let's go to the graphics pack session so when when we when we go to the graphics pack for the new super mario bros we we can see um let's select the workaround so we can see title screen crash fix so meaning when you take this it's going to fix the crash that we faced right now so let's take this and test the game and see whether this thing fixes the crash that we had earlier good as you can see the game is working and running very well so meaning the graphics pack fixes the crash that we had earlier but i'm not going to play the game so um let's let's end the game And you can do a lot of things over here 
so if if you think your controller settings are not well configured you can come to this place and select uh, yeah just select on option then you select input settings this will allow you to select or this will give you an access to the place that you can set up your controller so and you can change the language of the emulator you can set it to any language of your choice so i think that's all for today guys um please subscribe to my channel so please make sure you subscribe to my channel